Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to New Hampshire for the 18th round of this NASCAR Heat Evolution series. Now we've got our best qualifying so far on an oval, fourth position. We're behind our Toyota teammate of CJ there. And off the start, it looks pretty good. We're in third so far. We've got around Hootius who qualified third. And we've got 150 laps of this short track to go. Now, this is a bit of an issue here because I didn't do much practice and I was not very comfortable at this track. And I made that error early on, allowing Hootius and my, another of my teammates, Beach, through. So we fell down to fifth. I tried running several different lines early on and I couldn't get either the high or the low line to work early on. I think my setup was not ideal. As you see Kyle come around the outside there, another of my teammates of course. And we're just falling down the field at this point. And then a caution comes out when War Dude and I have contact also involving K Dog. Not sure whether that was my lag to blame or not. Either way, we're restarting here on the third row. Get our nose in front of Hootius once again. So now into the top five. Not too shabby, having been embroiled in that incident. And we're still behind Nick here, but you can see just how sideways we're getting there if we go low on the track. And that's having a real effect on my pace at the exit of the corner. As you can see, War Dude coming around the outside in his Chevrolet there. And now I've got Hootius to worry about as well. We want that back down the inside of War Dude. But I'm not sure if I'm really making the best of that line there. And you can see in the mirror, Hootie is looking all over both of us. Sideways once again. Surely War Dude's going to get us at some point here. Great run for War Dude, and he is through with a. Wow, <laughs> a very unsettling move for me, and that allows a further two cars to come through. Not sure where Hootius ended up in all that, as he was following at one stage. Either way, we're down to eighth. And now we've actually been asked to fall to the back due to lag. Not the first time it's happened, unfortunately, in this series. But of course, I will adhere to that requirement and try and fight back through the field. Hopefully the connection settles down as the race goes on. We've found that's the case in the past. Anyway, I'm dropped back to last place, 14th at the time. It's Meaty here I'm battling with, the fellow yellow car. And you can see the lag is still quite prevalent. We get down his inside, but still having troubles with the line and the sliding. Not sure how Hootius ended up there, but we're going to get to go on to his outside. That is P12, with one sixth of the race roughly complete. Not quite, of course, but getting there. Still struggling with massive understeer uh, tightness, as I think the Americans would refer to it as. And it just means that Hootius is well down the inside, but so much understeer actually touched the wall there. That would happen more later in the race, unfortunately, as I tried to establish a line. As the race went on, I went higher and higher up the, up the banking. Not that there's much banking. But uh, it did seem to be a lot more grippy than this darker tarmac on the inside. We get past Zeke there, having been overtaken by Hudius earlier on. Now onto the back of Aaron, who doesn't seem to be having a fantastic race. Sparks flying as he rubs the wall there. And we both go a bit deep into the corner, it looks like. And make slight contact, unfortunately. Oh, more contact for Aaron. Try to go to the outside of him, but I don't Still think there? he actually knows I'm there. I think that some lag um, possibly meant that he thought he was in front of me on his screen. And ooh, I think there was a spike there in the connection because his car sort of stopped and I went bang into the back of it. So that's caused a bit of a commotion for me. At least I didn't spin out and cause a caution. Talking of cautions, at the end of lap 40 you see is the end of the stage and we're outside the points for that unfortunately. But it does mean we're going to close up to the pack and with that restart we end up moving up into 8th position which is quite nice. Now we're injected into this battle here with Brian who's considerably more laggy on my perspective than anyone else unfortunately. So we're going to have to try and deal with that 
trying to go around the outside will it be possible as Bobby Labonte says he is still there but you can see now in the mirror he's to our left on the inside still will he get good drive will we get good drive oh contact that's not ideal at all we are down the inside oh a bit more contact massive slide we're on the apron I think that'll mean he goes around the outside yes it does Finally, we get our nose down the inside, hook up with the turn correctly, and pull off the corner with some decent enough drive to remain side by side to the next corner. Still unable to get past though. There'll be a caution in the meantime, and at this restart, we do manage to pull in front of Brian. As you can see, his light blue car there on the right on the outside there. Now we're in 8th behind K-Dog, but no, <laughs> I spoke too soon, Brian comes around the outside, just can't get the power down on that line unfortunately. He gets past Nick, and we all go far too deep, I was unsighted into that braking zone, there's a massive calamity there. Fortunately, I benefit in getting past Brian, and actually maintain it this time, although we do fall back from that pack unfortunately and going deep once again allow Aaron through Carlo. not only Aaron but also you can see Beige is coming through and there he is so now we're down to 10th this is significantly worse race for me than Sonoma obviously as I wanted but as far as ovals go I was a bit disappointed because I thought I had some good pace in this one but it just seemed to not quite click for me still trying to learn ovals properly I think this is my first short oval so that's an interesting thing to point out as well. Back past Aaron we go, and into ninth. I was hoping for a top five at this stage, because I knew I had a bit better pace than some of these guys. Behind our two teammates here, and what has happened there? Some serious lag, we've been collapsed as Kyle comes back across. Further contact with Beach, and we're all still going in the same direction, so hopefully Kyle's all right as well. Scrapes down the wall as the red car of Beige, and we've got some serious lateral lag going on there as we get past him. I hope I wasn't hitting him on his screen or something, because that is not what was happening from my perspective, as you can see. We've passed halfway now, and Beige comes back past us, albeit pushing us into the wall there. Perhaps a bit more lag. Massive sideways moment for me there as I watch my teammate battle with K Dog. Good run here on K-Dog, except a bit more lag stops my momentum, unfortunately. And a bit more sideways, just not hooking the car up once again. Now it's a green flag pit stop. 15 seconds predicted time, and it was dead on. Great. We're going for an undercut here on several cars. We weren't quite behind Nick before, so we've made some gains on him. We'll have to see where the other guys that we were fighting. Of course, remember they were Beach and K-Dog before this set of pit stops and in fact there they are on the open as we're coming around the outside so we have definitely undercut them we're up into net P6 and I think Excise may have to pit as well in front of us oh there's contact with Nick and we finally get past so that was quite nice so we're P5 at this point trying to chase down a war dude but this is where my race started to go wrong. I lap 111, concentration not ideal, and the tyres were not in the best place, and I just spun myself out. I was so far too deep into that corner, I had no idea what I was doing. I'm trying to run the high line, but not that high. The crazy thing was, I did it again. I, I can't believe I made the same mistake twice. And this time it was a bit hard to get going. I went straight into the pits though, for another green flag pit stop, as everyone I believe had to do. And it's going to be a good time again. 15 seconds, I believe, is pretty good. Let's see where we come out, though. Well, that's third there, Excise. But we, of course, have made the pit stop, and he hasn't. He's actually a lap in front, at least one, maybe two. Here's Mitch. He has made a pit stop, though. Unfortunately, he didn't take any tyres. I'm not sure why, whether that was a glitch or a mistake. But that certainly stopped his chance of winning the race, which I believe he may have done. 
in the end, we're forced to battle Zeke for P9. And uh, we get down the inside here and take that position with five laps to go. However, we are a lap down and remain so to the finish. So after 149 laps and Zeke coming very close to taking that position back, we're going to come around the final corner and claim ninth place. Not my best run by a long shot. Congratulations to CJ though on winning the race and uh, I'll have to try and do better next time. At least concentrate on not hitting the walls because that was thoroughly embarrassing. <laughs> anyway, I've been Jacko. See you guys next time in Indianapolis.